let's look at the line style panel in Silhouette Studio V5. Now lines are not that exciting. I'm not going to lie, but they are extremely important because every single file that you cut in Silhouette Studio is made up of lines and points. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I am a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette you found your way to Silhouette Success, and I hope you're going to join our little community. I have been putting these videos out for two years now, and if you want to know anything about Silhouette, you can probably scroll through the channel and find your answer. I'm putting out new tips, tricks, tutorials at least once a week, so stick around and learn something new. We're going to select the first option in the line tool. You can click the left button on your mouse, hold it down and just pull that out and you will create a line. If we double click on this line, it's going to pull up the editing points. Right now the editing points are red dots instead of gray squares because this is not a complete path. It's just a straight line. If this were a square, it would have four straight lines and the editing points would be gray because this is a closed path. This line is an open path. To draw a horizontal line, you want to click on your draw a line tool here. Hold down your shift key, hold down the left button on your mouse and pull that out. That's going to be completely horizontal. You can do the same thing to create a vertical line and you can also create a line at a 45 degree angle. If you are holding down the shift key, these are the only lines that will draw out. This line here is set to 0, 0.0 points in thickness. If we increase the thickness at all, this line is going to print. If it is at 0, 0.0, it will not print. If you're doing a print and cut project, that's very important to keep in mind. We can go over to the send panel and see that this will cut from this point to this point in the straight line. Nothing crazy going on there. Now let's go ahead and open up the line style panel. It is over on the right hand side. It does say line style underneath. It has a thick line, a thinner line, and a dashed line underneath. It has two different tabs up at the top. You have line style and you have line color. We're going to concentrate on the first tab first. Your first option is style and you have this box here. You can click on the arrow and a drop down menu comes up. This is to create dashed or dotted lines, perforations. This is what you will use if you want to create a score line for a card, let's say. Simply select your line and you can click on whichever variation you'd like and it will switch your straight solid line to a dashed or dotted line. You can also find your line style up here along with some other options. As long as this line is selected, these options will show up in your quick access toolbar. You can adjust your thickness here as well as up here. It has a slider, it has up and down arrow keys, or you can enter whatever number you'd like in this box here and it will increase or decrease the thickness of your line. Since it is set to 10.25, it will print. Let's open up our print preview for just a minute. It's not going to be anything exciting, but you will see that it is definitely going to show up in my project if I'm going to print. Now we can go up to the send page and take a look. As of right now, I have tool one set to use the outline of the selection. We can zoom in on this and see that it is going to cut around the black shape that the thick line has created. If we switch to tool one, use all selected lines, it's only going to cut a straight line right down the middle of the shape that we have created by thickening the lines. Let's go back to the design tab and move on to end caps. Right now, rounded end caps is selected. You can see that the line definitely is rounded on the end and by the location of this bounding box, you can see 
that the end of the rounded line comes out further than the actual line that we started off with. If we click on the first one, it's going to cut this straight off and this is going to be from one end of the line to the other end of the line, nothing extra added. If we want a squared end cap, we can click on the center option and again, that's going to make it a little bit longer and squared off. After end caps, we have position, but we're going to have to come back to that one right after we do corner because this one deals with having a full shape and we only have a line right now. Let's look at line pattern. Once again, we have a drop down menu and there are some fun choices in here and you can select these and play around with them. And I highly recommend that you do that so that you just get familiar with all of the different options that you have in the software. We can click on one and you can see it has created that shape. You can adjust how many times your pattern repeats. You can adjust the compression and you can have it adjust by how many repeats or the length of the pattern. There are a lot of options here. Once you have something like this selected, you can still come back up here and adjust the thickness and you can just get really creative with all of the options and mix and match in here and create something fun and different. You do want to be aware of this box down here. It says print lines of selected shapes. And underneath that, it says this will display your zero point cut lines as 0.1 point lines in your prints and in SVG and PDF exports. That means if you have this box checked, all of your cut lines will end up printing. You want to be aware that that option is there. If it ever gets checked for whatever reason if you're having issues with your lines printing know that that may be the issue I personally leave that unchecked for the next part we're going to move on and grab a rectangle from the drawing tools and just draw that out you can use the line style for this and have your rectangle cut out with dashed lines you can increase the thickness on this and as we're increasing the thickness, let's zoom in here and take a look at this corner. You can see that this corner is rounded. That's what we have selected here. The next option is to make corners flat. Let's click on that and it just kind of snips it off at an angle. The last option is to make the corners sharp. So we have a full 90 degree angle here and here as well. As promised, we can come back to the position now. The position of our lines at this moment is in front of the shape. The selection next to it will move the line behind the actual shape. I'm going to move it to the front of the shape one more time. We're going to move on to the line pattern now and I think this option is a ton of fun. You can click on any one of these patterns and this comes out so funky and different and I just love it. We can increase the number of repeats and we can increase the compression and watch how it changes the shape of the frame that we're making right now. And I think that looks super neat. If we go over to the send page you can see that I have selected use outline of selection, but it's only cutting the outside of the line this time because this is all joined up. It's all one element and this is the outside of that. Remember when we had our line selected and we use the outline of the selection, it cut both sides of this shape. That's not going to work if you are working with a closed shape. What you'll have to do in this case is go back to design and I'm going to set my fill color on this to white so that I have a higher contrast. Open up the trace panel, select the trace area and draw that box out. Now I can click on trace. We can fill this in with black. Let's select both and just scale this down a little bit so they both fit on the design mat and click over to send. Now you can see that this entire shape will cut out, only the outline of this one will cut out. So that's something fun and different you can try out with this. 
Now back to the design page and the line style panel. Let's move over to the second tab and that is line color. You can also find your line color palette up here at the top, but in the line style panel, you have a few different options. You can create custom color palettes. You can adjust the transparency and they also have this fun little slider and you can pick your color that way. So using the panel just has a few more options. And again, it's a little bit more fun to play around with. 